Okay, so uh, I today need to sharpen my chainsaw blade, and I'm going to try using this electric chainsaw sharpener I got for free. It's brand new, uh, so no loss either way, but at the same time I'll review this as we go and see how well it works. Uh, anyways, so stick around, we'll show you how it works. Welcome to Shane's Main Shop, where I cover a wide variety of topics, such as how-to, home improvement, some auto repairs, some woodworking videos, as well as I do some funny videos of my life stories, and if I go away, I try and get some video of some of the places I go. So anyways, thanks for swinging by, and stick around. So today, I'm going to show you how to sharpen the chain with a chainsaw sharpener. Um, as you can see, I got it out of the box. This is the uh, electric chainsaw sharpener. Um, I have no idea how it's going to work. Never used it before. It's brand new. This The setup was very similar to a blade, a table saw blade sharpener that I have. That the, the set stop thing doesn't really... The, the thing sharpens blades good, but the um, the way it's designed to kind of go forward and lock this in each time on, on the other unit doesn't really work very well. And I kind of suspect that this is going to be the same situation. So I just kind of did it by hand because you have to adjust this um, here, as you can probably see, and then you set your adjustment screw um, to line up the angle for sharpening. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. And you got this adjustment up here on top. It's kind of hard to see. Um, that is the stop right here. And... It's awful flimsy, to be honest with you. It's a flimsy, flimsy thing. So not super impressed yet. But basically, I'm loosening this up until this thing is dropping down in the tooth where we want it. And it's got to go back. So loosen that up. I'll loosen that some more. Basically, I'm just bringing this back until... That slides down in there at the right angle, right about there. I'm going to set the depth first. All right, I think I got the depth set. And I got the stop set, so we're going to go ahead and tighten that down. And then, last is get the angle set. But, um, my bench was taller. I'm going to have to bend down like this to sharpen it. Well, let's plug this thing in. Let's see what happens. Is there a button somewhere? In the back. Where I was carrying it earlier. Oh, right here. Wow, it's nice and quiet. I like that. Alright, well, let's see what happens. I suppose I should put some safety goggles on. If I can find any, which I don't see any around, so... Let's see what happens here. The problem is, is I guess Then we got to go forward quite a ways to get to the next. Well, I can see one reason why this chain doesn't cut for shit. It's missing two teeth right here. Three teeth. Four. It's missing all kinds of teeth. I might not even waste my time on this. Okay, so I've gone all the way around both sides uh, to do the other side. Just leave the chain on the way it is and loosen the swivel up and just uh, swivel it the other way. 
Another thing I didn't mention in the beginning, you want to mark where you start. I put a piece of um, electrical tape over one of the teeth so I knew when I made it all the way back around. And um, uh, also, too, you're really supposed to tighten this down. It clamps against the, um, the blade itself. But again, I, I, overall it works, but the settings and the stops and stuff are not perfect. The chains, it just seems to be so many variables that sometimes the, the stop here is doesn't allow the blade to go down far enough in tooth. Um, so maybe on a new blade it would be better, but on a pretty worn out blade they're all a little bit different. So you have to make adjustments along the way. So a little cumbersome, however... Um, it is a heck of a lot easier than hand filing uh, every one of these teeth. And you can see, I don't know if I can get close enough to see. There we go. But you can see that um, it did file. You know, it has filed them down. If I find another one here. So it's just a matter of um, putting it onto the chainsaw and trying it out but like I said it does work it's cumbersome the stops are not the greatest on the unit itself and uh, other than that I think it's an okay tool I definitely wouldn't have paid for it I'm glad it was free so please push that subscribe button like comment um, come back often for more videos and have a great day